Last night the animals were making really weird noises. The rooster was crowing funny. The pigs were making weird squeals at like 11 o'clock. So I hope all the animals are doing okay this morning. You okay? You guys doing okay? The pigs are probably very thankful for some Thanksgiving leftovers. Around the holiday times, there's definitely a lot of big meals. That usually means a little more leftovers than normal, so the pigs get a little special treat today. What I figured we'd talk about today is how we're gonna do our chickens bedding for their coop during the winter time, because there's a few options you got, but we're gonna go over the one that we're gonna do this winter. But since there was some strange noises coming, let's just make sure we count 15 chickens in here first. No more in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That makes me feel a little better. We did hear the weird noises. We did send that guy outside once we did. You good boy? Good boy. But we have fifteen happy chickens and we have two happy pigs. Yeah, I know. You guys are really happy all the time. So what we want to do today is we're going to change out the bedding for this coop. It's about to get into December, so we're about to have three really cold months of December, January, February. So we want to start the bedding out fresh, have it nice and clean, and then we'll describe to you guys what our plan is throughout those three months and what we want to do with this. But definitely the first thing we got to get done is we got to get this coop cleaned. It's actually been a few months since it's been cleaned out. And it's starting to get really bad. Usually we're a little bit better than that. So this coop is a little more disgusting than normal, but we got to get this all cleaned out. We've talked about this before, but it is so nice that something that is poop and disgusting actually will end up being great compost that you can put back into your garden or into your land. So maybe a hidden little piece of equipment you can use a lot is snow sleds. We've used these two snow sleds to help out with so many chores around here in the backyard. Will we be able to reuse them for the snow? Not really. We just use these two snow sleds, throw all the dirty chicken coop stuff onto them, sled them right over to the compost bin that we have located inside the chicken run, and it makes this process go by super quick. We got the whole coop now cleaned out. So now we need to get the new bedding in there to start this winter off just right. All right, all the new bedding is now inside their chicken coop. They have nice new fresh bedding, and although I'd be like, oh, they're probably so happy to have the fresh bedding, they always adjust to it. I think it's the smell. We don't use any cedar shavings. I understand that's bad for the chickens. It doesn't matter what we've put in there, whether it's fresh straw, fresh pine shavings, thin cut, big cut, no matter what we do, it seems like they just have a hard time adjusting. I think it is just the fresh smell of it. So we'll keep this door open. Most of the time we do anyways to let that smell go in and out of the coop so that they don't get too freaked out by it. I know in the long term of things, they'll be appreciative of that to kind of get away from their poop smell that was in there. Our goal this year with the chicken coop in the winter time and their bedding is to use the deep litter method. This is a very common method used throughout many, many people who have chickens. And this method's best used for two different kind of scenarios. One, I think during the winter time, and I'll explain that in a second. And two, if your coop is stationary like ours, it's just a good method to use throughout the whole year for the most part. Deep litter is just the way it sounds. It's that instead of changing out the coop like I just did every single month or however often you guys do your coop, you're just going to get that new bedding and throw it right on top. And then they'll have their droppings and poop down on that one. And then when it's time to go clean it again, you put another layer on top of that one. And it's going to actually be more sanitary for your chickens. And also, the warmth and the composting of their poop and their manure inside the chicken coop will heat it up enough that it gives them an extra heat source during the winter time. So for you guys that live in places like we do, like Michigan, that it gets super cold, you'll like the benefit of heat that it's going to give your coop. Here, show me. See? That does rake up the leaves really good, you're right. It just takes a big swamp. I have my helper here. As you know, that we just threw all of our chicken manure and bedding inside our compost bin here. And we still have lots of leaves here in the chicken run. So what we're doing right now is both me and her are gonna rake up a ton of these leaves, throw them in the compost bin, mix them up, and that's also just gonna help add to the compost. Are you ready for help right now? Yeah, the 
chickens are playing in it. I do see they're playing all over. All right, let's get this done. So as Melina's mixing and turning the compost here that we have in our bin, the reason we located it in the chicken run is so that the chickens can go right on top of it. They can work on it as much as they want throughout the day. And also they flip around and kick at it and turn it so that you don't have to do as much turning and flipping. It's kind of a win-win on all sides. We gave this to the chickens yesterday and seems like they don't want it. Throw it in the compost. You're right, we could throw it in the compost, but our compost now doesn't get as much because Usually we give it to, how's it going pigs? You guys want some pumpkin? Wah! Pumpkin, pumpkin, yummy, yummy, yummy. What are you doing? You're not even sunbathing, you're just hanging out? You're okay, to have your spot. I'd be lying to you guys to say that we've done the deep litter method. We haven't actually got to try it out. The last time we had chickens, we kind of just always would clean it out when we needed to. But I know I've heard really good things about it. I'm excited that one, it'll make them warmer, and two, hopefully it's gonna make even greater compost because the more and more it kind of sits and has extra stuff to soak that up, it should keep doing that. All right, quick update on the little warm cottage hut that we made for the chickens in the last video, if you remember. They haven't really been using it, and I don't think it's because they don't like it. We've just had such warm temperature ever since that big snowfall that hit that they've been outside just enjoying being outside in the sun. We're not mad about it. I think they're gonna love it once the cold weather hits again. But for right now, since the weather is not cold, I'm not mad that they're not using it. And I'm not mad that it's not cold. Probably miss the cold weather, don't you? You love the cold weather. You see, Milo, our great Pyrenees, whenever it snows, and for any of you guys who have a livestock guardian dog, I'm sure it's the same, he can be out here all day just laying down in the snow. You did a good job protecting the pigs and chickens last night. They have that double coat, so he's super warm out here. And when it's summertime, it's super hot and he doesn't like being out here. So it's almost his season where he can be out here longer and don't mind. All right, it's been a few hours now. Although there's no chickens inside here at the moment, you can see they've started to access it with all these openings. You can see right here, here. So they are starting to use the area. Oh, actually, hey. What are you doing? <laughs> are you broody? It's winter time. You wanna be broody now? Earlier in the video, I don't know if you guys could see, but when I was changing out the coop, she was the one that was actually sitting in that same nesting box. I'm guessing we possibly have another broody hen. I don't know if that's common for the end of November to have a broody hen, but I'm thinking we might. All right, sit on those eggs. It looks like some of the hens have been in here and the compost bin as well, so. It's always good when they're playing around, scratching around in here. Improves the compost, and you like doing it, huh? I'm excited to try out this deep litter method for our coop over here. I'm thinking it's gonna be much more effective for the winter time, and if it helps them get extra heat, I mean, I don't see why not. I don't wanna call it the lazier way, but it is a little bit easier. All you gotta do is bring the new wood chips out and throw it right on top, so. I'm hoping that it'll benefit them, and I'm hoping that that system will work for us. Our big motto here is that you don't know until you try, so that's what we're gonna try this winter time and hopefully it works for us. Oh, piggies. Piggies. Whenever we're feeding these pigs, all the chickens like to jump up on the compost bin and just watch. We're not gonna feed you guys every single time. Caesar, you don't have to watch me, you're okay. We've been wondering since they can jump on the compost bin like that, would they hop over into the woods that way or into this pig run over here? And for the first time yesterday, we had one of our chickens jump into the pig spot. It happened to Chelsea in the morning with all the kids while I was at work. We don't have video footage, but I guess the pigs kind of chased the chicken for a little bit, but then just kind of ignored her. Unfortunately, it was our chicken that didn't like to be held though. So Chelsea had a little bit of hard work, but ended up getting her back in the spot. All right, guys, we're getting ready to leave. Somebody found the cozy straw. You like it? We're getting ready to go for the night. Our town is lighting a big Christmas tree, so we're gonna go see that. This is where it's nice, if you don't have an automatic coop door, to have one now, because we're able to set this to a certain time, it's gonna lock up, and we don't gotta make sure that if they're safe or not, so. So we're getting ready to go. 
You guys have a great day and a better tomorrow, and we'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.